Hi there. Welcome to the first screencast of Easy Media Center Setup. And for this first screencast, we decided to show you or to make a demonstration how, how to configure a media center in about 10 minutes. Um, our objective is to make it really easy and, um, and with pretty much a lot of advanced features that you will probably enjoy. So let's first see the hardware. We have a Mac Mini connected to an HDTV using an HDMI cable. The Mac Mini also connect, is also connected to an amplifier using an optical connection, connector. It is connected to two hard disks using USB. It's basically about two terabytes. And the Mac Mini is also connected uh, to a home network using an Ethernet cable. Um, it's connected to a router that is then connected to our ISP. So it's basically pretty standard stuff. Um, so we're going to start to configure the system right now. We don't have anything installed besides the iOS Lion, the iOS X Lion that comes with the Mac Mini. Uh, our Mac Mini is from 2009 really, it's a 2.3 gigahertz. Uh, it has two gigabytes, so it's nothing really uh, extreme. Um, so we don't have anything installed, we just have iTunes and stuff like that. It comes already with the operation system. So let's start right now. The first thing we're going to do is install Plex. Plex is basically a, a free uh, media server that uh, works both as a media server and as a client. So uh, basically you can organize your, your, all your media, movies, TV shows. You, can, you even have some online uh, internet services. And it's pretty amazing stuff. It's, it's extremely easy to use. And it's definitely something that you want to install in your media center. Um, meanwhile, we're also using our iPod. The iPod here is, um, is what we use to manage all our devices. Um, it works as a universal remote control and it gives us access uh, to all the features of, of our media center too. So let's proceed with Plex. The first thing he asks is where is our media. First he asks for the movies. So we're just adding here some stuff. Let's click next. Then he asks for our TV shows. So we just give the directory where the TV shows are. And we move next. We don't install any, any internet services for the moment. And that's basically it. So it's already updating our system. So while it's updating, let's install some apps here on the, the iPod. Um, these apps will be uh, used to remote control the system, um, to remote control Plex. It will be used to access media, uh, radio, and etc. etc. We will see. So let's all start by installing. Uh, let's go to the App Store. There it is. Start by installing. Why not Plex? So Plex for the iPod. There it is. That means put the my password. And it's installing. I already have bought this app, so it's installing Plex. And also, let's install another app called Splashtop. Splashtop allows, enables your your um, iPod to make a remote desktop connection to your media center. Is is it supports both iPod? and the iPod. So it's, it's definitely something that we want. Eventually, if you are out 
and you want to do some management on our media. So let's go to the App Store. Let me write here Splash Top. There it is. And it is Splash Top and let's install. Another one that we want is um, where is it? App Store. We also want Air Video. Okay. Air Video. There it is, and we click and we install AirView. Okay. We also want um, Hyper Remote. Hyper Remote allows us to control the media center, it has a, basically a remote. And we definitely like that. So, hyper remote. There it is. And we'll press and install hyper remote here. And we also want another app called TuneIn Radio. It's an amazing app to listen to radio and you'll see how it blends with our media center. TuneIn Radio, there it is. And we also want that. And it's installing. So here, we already have installed Plex. Now we need to install the other server. So uh, what we're going to do, here is he's the server for IpoConnect. Let's put it in the uh, in the application and let's run IpoConnect so let us put it online it, as I told you is basically a remote control for the media center and we also want to install Splash Top Streamer it allows us to make a remote desktop uh, using your iPhone or iPad. Let's install that. Am I running out of time? Almost. And we also want to install Air Server. Air Server is allows us to use our computer as an AirPlay device, and we definitely want to do that with, for our with our iPod. So we also need to install that. So it is Splash Top Stream is installed. Let's put it here easy password so we can connect later on. Uh, sign out, that's good. Installation was successful. Let's just go here and check our preference in Air Server. 
is good, is good. And we also need to check air server. Air server here. Good, good. And we also need to install our air video server. Which basically we move to the application folder. There it is. Almost running out of time. And it's running preferences, conversion settings, start and login. And that's it. So we have our media sensor system configured configured and in the next screencast uh, we'll show you how to well we'll just play around with these apps and show how everything works at the moment i'm just going to do a reboot and um yes create a new document let's do a save save i'll leave here And that's it, running out of time and pause. So I'm just going to do a reboot and see you in the next screencast so you can have a look to everything that we have installed. Okay, bye bye. See you in the next screencast.